What's up guys, welcome to today's video. As you can see by the title, we're going to be creating Timerless Timers. Now what I mean by that is we're going to create um, a timer, a cooldown system for commands, but without using timers. Now as you can see, with with this system, this is a basic um, a cooldown set, how, how a basic cooldown system will work. There'd be a five second timer that you would um, you would set. You would, ha you would have a variable that you would, um, to be able to check the way, to, the best way to do it would be with a Boolean. So when, when they connect, their, their cooldown is false and um, it, and this is how we can check um, if they need a cooldown or not. So we're, if they if their cooldown is false, they can do the command. But once they do the command, their cooldown goes to true, and then a timer gets set for five seconds. So five seconds later, cooldown gets set back to false. So that's a very um, basic um, timer timer system. The way you do for for cooldowns. But let's do this without using timers, guys. All right. Now the way we do this is instead of using a boolean, we can use get player cooldown, but we can um, use it as a variable. And what we do is we just set it to zero on on play connect, and um, we won't be using uh, a new callback. We'll be just doing it all in the in the command. So we can remove that, and this cooldown can be. This is how um, how we're going to do the check. So what what we use is a function called um, get time, which is like this. Um, whoop, get time. All right, so the functions get time, which is a timestamp. I believe it's a timestamp of how many seconds have passed since um, I think the first of July, nineteen seventy-one. But um, yeah, basically the timestamp will look something you know like this. That's how many seconds have passed since. Um, so like if you returned get time and printed it, um, this is what you would see a number like this. Let's just say that's the number right now, and and that's how many seconds have passed since um, July first, uh, nineteen seventy one. So basically, what we do is instead of using um, get player cooldown equals true, what we do is we um, we check if get time. We go get time. Wait, sorry, we go get time. We'll go like this, we'll put it in the brackets like this. So get time minus get player cooldown. If um, get time minus get player cooldown is less than five, that means it, it, um, it, it's been, it hasn't been five seconds yet um, since the last time we, we've set get player cooldown. And the way we do it is we set um, get player cooldown to get time. So we don't need this timer anymore. We just use the variables. What you do is you set it to get time and that that's, let, let's just say uh, the time is, you know, instead of a long number, we'll just say the time is um, a thousand and we set it there and then we check, say it's been two seconds and um, one thousand, so say we get time and it's been two seconds later, it'd be 1002 minus 1000 equals two. So it's only been two seconds. So like once it's been five seconds, then the, the the computer will continue down and you won't be able to see you don't have to set this back to zero what you do is you just leave it and then every time they use this command it'll get set back to get time and then um uh, like they've got to wait five seconds before they've got to use this command again and that's as simple as it gets guys for the um for the for the for the cooldown system let's just compile that so you can see it works and uh, what i'll do now is i'll jump over to um a basic admin system and we'll see how we can use get time to create time bands like a temp band system so what we'll do is we'll jump over to that all right guys this is how you create a um a temp band system with get time what you've got to do is you've got to uh, specify an amount of days so we'll put days there we'll add it here also we'll add a variable and then add days to up here so what you've got to do is instead of using the temp band, uh, the, the default band system, um, you, you've got to create a field within the database called um, band. And what you do is you set um, you set the length of the band to you set that field to the length of the band. So new length will equal get time plus eighty six thousand four hundred seconds in a day times the amount of days so say they got banned for two days it'd be the time right now plus one day times two that'd be the length of the band so the length the the, the 
the band the field the band field will be um, a timestamp within the future. So what you do is uh, after you've um, set the length within the after you set the band field uh, within the database, you kick them. So that when you check for the um, the band, what you got to do is under on play connect is you do a check like this to check if they they exist within the database, and then this is where you this is where you get the the band the band data. So and then un, under here you get the band data and you do a um, a check like this. You'll go if get time is less than band the band data. That means um, you got to kick them because the the they're, their band hasn't their, their um their band hasn't expired, but then you do an else statement, and this is where you um this is where you uh de delete the the band data from the database. So um yeah, that's as simple as it gets gets guys. Is um when you ban them, you 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 get the time, you get the current time plus um. Plus how many plus how many days have been banned? That's the get timestamp, which is in the future. And then under on play connect, you check you, you get their band data and you check the current time. If it's um, any less than their band data, um, their band hasn't expired. You've got to kick them. But if it um, else if uh, else if it's equal to band or more than band, that means that their band expires. So what you do is you um, delete the band data. So that's how you um, use get time to create a temporary band system, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if there's um, any tutorials you'd like me to do in the comments, and I'll get around to do them. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.